time we have started with this poem on killing a tree right okay so vatsal will explain me what we have read in the first para yes vatsal beta on killing a tree poem that we have done yesterday if this kind of attitude will be shown that i don't know what is going on that i don't think so you will get marks in exam and this is not any fun activity going on please be serious yes you will be able to explain or not because this is still a revision going on you will be able to explain okay speak now
uh, with uh, the place with which it has made itself fixed for so many years okay it has anchored there with that earth so what it has to be done it has to be completely taken out of that anchorage okay in order to be kills it is to be roped and tied so ultimately what process has to be followed it has to be roped it must be tied with the rope and then it needs to be pulled out means tied and roped means tied me roped means that means firm grip has to be made pulled out then force must be applied so here he is like killing uh, killing of a tree or pulling out of a tree what he is relating to he is of course relating it to that of bad habits which are you can say which have turned out to be part of our you can say life for so many years so ultimately means we need to have complete control over these kind of habits of ours if only we will have control over these habits only then we will be able to provide with strength with firm decision with firmness in our mind with you can say firmness in our thoughts okay we need to take hold of these we must be sure of ourselves that these have to be taken out and again and again this kind of practice is to be given okay and it is to be pulled out and snapped out it is to be taken out and finally snapped out okay so or pulled out entirely or pulled out means that it is not only like that that you will take out only a part of that tree it is to be pulled out completely what it means pulled out means complete part of the tree it is to be pulled out completely out from the earth cave earth cave means deep core of the earth okay he is comparing the deep inside the earth with that of earth cave it has to be completely you can say taken out of the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed and when this process will be done that is the root is to be pulled out with rope by rope by roping it down and then it is to be pulled out then the strength of the tree what is the strength of the tree those roots those roots are the strength of the tree which are responsible for what these are responsible for providing strength to the tree why because it is responsible for absorbing nutrition from the soil okay as it is providing nutrition from the soil so ultimately what is to be done that strength of the tree it needs to be exposed it needs to be shown it needs to be remain revealed okay the source white and wet white and wet again again here white and wet this is what this is an example of allegation this is of course an example of allegation okay it means the source which is white and wet okay it has to be it has to remain intact it must be in, uh, it must be exposed then that source that sap of the tree which is responsible for the life of the tree it needs to be exposed the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth and it is the most sensitive and hidden part of the earth okay which remain hidden for many years means it remain hidden for many years and this is the one which is providing the providing what nourishment to the tree in the same way those habits those wrong habits or those unwanted desires which we have those unwanted longings and controlled desires that we have hidden deep in our mind deep inside our heart okay they have to be continuously worked upon if we will continuously work upon them only then what will happen that we will be providing or letting them come out of our mind and when they are coming out of our mind then what will happen the time will come okay when their hold will be lessened or they will remain you can say they will remain exposed and only then upon regularly working upon them you will be able to get rid of them 
otherwise it is not at all possible to get rid of them to remove them from your life so then the matter of scorching and choking matter of scorching and choking what it means it means then drying up okay drying up means not providing any nourishment drying up is what not providing any nourishment only then it will dry stopping supply of fresh air and nutrients then this process of scorching and choking in sun and air let it dry dryness of emotion for that desire you should not have any desire uh, desire for those kind of emotions that this is to be done okay browning hardening twisting and withering means all these words they show what they show decaying process okay decaying process drying process browning change of color how change of color in our habits with a long desire we are indifference towards them okay then ultimately hardening okay that where they they are they will remain as such they will not grow further okay twisting okay drying up and ultimately withering then ultimately they will curl down they will turn out to be smaller in size and ultimately what will happen that they will wither away from our life okay and and then it is done and this is the only way how to get rid of those problems those desires which are deep seated in our heart so finally the poet here in this poem he is delivering us two messages okay on one side ironically he is telling us okay not to kill a tree okay that trees are responsible for our existence we are responsible for our existence on earth but on the other side he is also relating this tree to that of you can say desires which are deep seated in our life those desires which are of course harmful for us they have turned out to be part of us okay and it is just because of this reason it is really very difficult to have hold over these desires so ultimately what is to be done they have to be pulled out by regularly working upon them and how we will work upon them by continuously putting pressure upon them by continuously checking their growth that whether these desires are they deep seated or deep rooted or whatever else they are. okay then ultimately stopping the growth of these desires in our minds will ultimately bring an end to this kind of right so this is all about this point now any doubts to any student please raise up your hand okay fine so now let me ask you some questions now you people will explain so what are the various ways or what is the view point of the poet according to him that he says that tree how tree cannot be killed yes shiva how tree cannot be killed beta hmm where the cut is provided then ultimately what will happen that the tree will ultimately grow into a into its former size in sila in sila okay so what does the words have chop jab refer to heaven 
What does the word hack, chop, jab refer to? What does it mean? What is the meaning of the words hack, chop, jab? Okay. Yes, Dhru. What is Dhru? What is the meaning of hack, chop, jab? Yes, from me. Hack, chop, and jab means the cut, jab, so and uh, it means that the process of cutting, okay, the various ways of attempt to cut a tree that are being provided is ultimately what it is. You can say the way how the tree can be killed. But is there any effect of these hacks and chop? No, there is no effect. Why there is no effect? Because ultimately it will absorb again nutrients from the soil. Okay. Okay, now where imagery, example of imagery is being used by the poet? Speak louder. Slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, and water. Okay. From its leprous height. Now, why does the poet has put special stress upon the word no? Yes, we are. Huh. It means that the poet is referring to the various, you can say, efforts taken by us in the previous, you can say, attempts, okay? But you can say the efforts of the poet in the previous attempt that only hack and chop and jab. It will not cut a tree. What will cut a tree? Finally, strength. It must be roped, okay? So how can a tree be finally be uh, done? Or why finally the tree is said to be finished? Yes, right. Yes, it finally what happened that it is finally killed. Okay, it is to be robed. It is to be uh, means with strength. It is to be dealt with. Okay, it is to be tied up. Okay, only then what will happen that the tree is to be pulled out. Okay, so when the tree is tackled with strength, with rope, it is roped and it is pulled out. What will happen next? Or what it will lead to? It will ultimately lead to to expose the strength of the tree. So where is the strength of the tree? Hidden deep inside the earth cave. Where? In the, in the form of roots, okay? Which is hidden inside the earth for many years, okay? Which is responsible for providing strength to and life to tree. And it is only by exposing that sap of tree, okay? Which is, of course, the wet and white source, okay? Which is responsible for providing what? It is responsible for providing nourishment, nourishment to the tree that the strength of the tree will be exposed. And then what will happen? Yes. Then how finally the tree is done? When it is to when it is pulled out, then finally browning, hardening, twisting, and okay, this will bring an end to that of tree. Okay, this what will happen that this will bring an end to tree. Okay, this is how the tree is killed. So, what is the meaning of enjambment? When idea of one line is carried forward onto the next line without use of any what? Punctuation marks. Means when there is no use of punctuation marks. Okay. So, let us repeat those um, poetic devices used here. First para. Speak the lines. Yes, speak louder. 
okay then ultimately rising out of it feeding upon its crust absorbing years of sunlight air water this is again what enjambment also and moreover this is an example of lineage this is of course leprous hide is metaphor next is next second para so hair can chop but this alone won't do it is an example of enjambment miniature birds which is unchecked will expand again is an example of enjambment enjambment Right. The tree is to be pulled. The root is to be pulled out. This is an example of repetition. Okay. This is an example of repetition. Now, pear stands on three. Okay. Or pulled again. It is repetition. White and wet. This is an elevation. Okay. So finally, I hope that this poem is clear to you all. Okay. So in, let us ask. Let me ask one or two textual questions. Can a simple jab of the knife kill a tree? No. no. Why not? So what is the meaning of bleeding bark? Metaphor, but what it means? When hack or jab is provided, the Yes, the white liquid oozes out from the bark of the tree. Now the poet says, "No, this we have done in the beginning." What does he mean to say this? It means that all those efforts of hacking and chopping and cutting the tree, it will not. They are not sufficient in order to kill the tree. Okay, one needs to uh, pull it, rope it down, and pull it out from the surface or dark core of the earth where it has. Taken its anchorage for large time. Now, what is uh, what is the strength? What does he mean by the strength of the tree exposed? Strength of the tree. Yes. Okay. Right. So finally, what kills the tree? The source of light. Finally, it kills the tree. Okay, so this is all about revision of this poem, and I hope that everything is clear to you now. Fine. Okay, now I just want to have a bit discussion about your interpretation.